This video I'm going to show you the Taylor Speedster Magnetic Stir. So you have the Speedster unit itself, you have the test tube, you have the weight, you have the batteries for it, and the batteries slide in very easily. And there are two buttons on the Speedster. There's a power button. This will turn it on for one minute. You can also turn it off at any time by hitting the power button again. And if you're using the Speedster in a low light area, there's also a button here for LED lights. for any test that requires a swirl, which would be the chlorine, total alkalinity, and calcium hardness. Get a water sample and fill it to the 25 ml mark. Then you'll take the tube and put it on the speedster. You would take this weight and drop it in. Then you would simply add the reagents. I'm going to do an alkalinity test. Here's an R007. Add two drops of this. Okay, I'm going to add five drops of R008. Go ahead and turn the power on. So the speed stir will run for a minute or until you turn the power off. I'm going to go ahead and add drops of R009. Count them. You would do the same thing for the calcium hardness. You would use the Speedster the same way for the total chlorine and free chlorine reading. So the Speedster would be a great addition to your Taylor test kit. It makes getting accurate readings very easy and quick. And one note is that the Speedster doesn't come with a carrying case. I'm using a CD case here to carry the Speedster and the extra reagents. So that's a look at the Taylor Speedster.